What is going on guys, my name is Lemon Cop, and in this video we're going to be talking about the top 5 best sneaker bots for 2020. Before we get into it guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hunter or Lemon Cop. I make videos going over streetwear, supreme, botting sneakers, reselling sneakers, and my journeys throughout both. If you guys have not checked out some of my other videos, please be sure to do so. And as always guys, if I help you guys out in any way in this video, please be sure to leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button for more content. So in this video guys, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 best sneaker bots of 2020. Hey guys, please keep in mind this is 100% my opinion. So if you don't agree with me, instead of writing like a hateful comment telling me how I should stop selling sneakers, just simply write down in the comment section below what you guys would have changed. Also guys, these are set to change, obviously. So if you're watching this video a couple months down the road, they could be changed and they probably will most likely. Because sneaker bots always fluctuate. Sometimes they do good, sometimes they do bad. So it's obviously not really like a set in stone thing. And a little disclaimer guys, sneaker botting is not cheap. If you guys are watching this video and you are a beginner, I would probably suggest going back and watching one of my beginner videos. Just because these sneaker bots are going to cost anywhere from a thousand to even six thousand dollars which i know might seem like a lot of money but if you're getting multiple pairs every release you can make a lot more than that so just to know guys sneaker bunny is not cheap this doesn't even include proxies servers code groups or anything like that so without any further ado guys let's just get right to it coming in at the number five spot we have soul all in one now you can get a renewal copy of Soul in one somewhere around $1,900 on Bot Broker. Overall, Soul is a pretty good bot. They have pretty much everything you would need and they are adding more sites. They recently just added foot sites over the past either drop or two and they have been doing very, very well. So I can definitely see Soul on the one going up in price. It's definitely a very good beginner bot also because it's pretty user friendly. It also goes very well on sites like Hibbit, Finish Line, and like I said, they just added foot sites. So they have been doing really well on there. It also has a mobile app. Honestly guys, not too sure about the mobile app. I have it on my phone. I don't really ever use it. It's not made the best. Like it's not made like the cyber app, obviously. You can see your purchases on there and it's pretty useful, but it definitely could be improved on. Overall guys, Soul is definitely a good solid bot, especially coming in at the kind of lower price range, half the price of cyber. Definitely gonna be a good place to start if you're trying to step up your reselling game. Overall guys, I'm gonna be giving Soul all in one a seven out of 10 based on how well the bot performs, the price of the bot and how long the bot has been performing for. Coming in at the number four spot, we have Project Destroyer. You can get a renewal copy of PD right now for somewhere around $1,300, $1,400. Honestly guys, for the price of PD, I think it's very, very underpriced. For the sites you get on there and the how well they've been doing, I definitely think you should be looking into Project Destroyer. They pretty much have every site you guys would want to bot. And also compared to these other bots like Cyber, Wrath, Kodai being five plus thousand dollars pd for what you're getting in a bot is definitely not a bad price the ui is very user friendly it's definitely definitely a very good starter bot obviously it's going to be a little more expensive for you starters but definitely not a bad place to start if you're trying to step up your reselling game let's say you have a bot like nsb or something and you're trying to upgrade i would definitely look into pd for sure pd also has a discord server that's going to help you guys out obviously all these other servers have it but pd's discord is definitely put together well and they have a full support team ready for you guys if you have any questions unfortunately they don't have a mobile app which isn't really like the biggest deal you can always run it on a server like on your laptop another plus about pd is they have like an expert and a simple view so like if you're creating tasks you can either do the expert if you know what you're doing or you can just set like the simple tasks so you just input your keywords and stuff like that honestly guys overall pd is definitely a really good bot i honestly highly suggest it personally i don't have it anymore but if you guys are a beginner or you're looking to step up your game a little bit more i would definitely be sure to look into pd Overall, I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10 based on the bot's performance, the price, and how long it's been doing good for. PD's been around for years now, and they've definitely proven themselves to be a really good developer team. Coming in the number 3 spot, we have Wrath. Honestly guys, I'm going to be real upfront. I don't know a lot about Wrath right now. Personally, I've only used it a handful of times and it was like a rental for one of my friends. I have seen a lot of success recently and I definitely think it's a good solid bot. The UI looks very, very nice. It's very user friendly. As far as setting up tasks and all that good stuff goes, it's pretty easy to use also. So if you are still kind of a beginner and you don't really know a lot about sneaker bots, Wrath is going to be pretty user friendly for you guys. Wrath has also been doing very, very good recently. I know people that have been checking out like hundreds to thousands of pairs with Wrath on foot sites. So definitely a really good bot. It does really good on Shopify and foot sites so you can have both right there but it also has a range of other sites unfortunately the downfall to wrath right now is the price you can get a copy somewhere around forty two hundred dollars which is pretty expensive for a sneaker bot due to its recent success it's been jumping up in price and honestly guys i might stay away from wrath right now just because the price is a little unstable they've been doing good for like a month now so if it does bad next month or the next couple months i can definitely see the price going down and they just raise renewal fees to fifty dollars a month so you definitely want to take that into account if you are looking into wrath overall guys i'm going to be giving wrath a seven out of ten based on the bot's performance which is the bot's performance is definitely higher than a seven but unfortunately due to the price and how long it's been doing good it's going to be falling back to a seven overall guys wrath is definitely not a bad bot if you're looking to step up your bot game add something new to your arsenal and you have a little bit more 
more money to spend, I would definitely look into getting Wrath. Coming in at the number two spot, we have Cyber. Obviously, you guys probably know Cyber. Cyber's been the top dog for a very long time now. It has a very clean UI, it's very user friendly, their support team is great. It has every site you guys would need, like I don't really know a site that Cyber doesn't have. Besides Easy Supply and Nike Sneakers, which you don't really need those on Cyber. And Cyber also has a mobile app, you can stop your tasks, start your tasks, edit. You can literally do pretty much everything you need to do on the mobile app anywhere on the go. Like it's honestly great guys, I have the app on my phone and I use it all the time. Cyber has been around for years now and they've definitely proven themselves to be the best bot like I said. Unfortunately guys, the downfall of Cyber is the price. You can get a renewal copy right now somewhere around $4,500. Which for the price, you're definitely getting a good bot. I definitely think Cyber is worth the price if you know how to use it and you know what you're doing. Now if you guys are a complete beginner, I probably would suggest not just going out and buying Cyber like right off the rip. I would definitely buy something like PD, Soul, maybe NSB. Then once you know what you're doing, go buy a bot like Cyber. There's not really too much else to say about Cyber. I'm sure you guys know what it is. If you don't, I actually have a review on it. I'll link down in the description below. Overall, guys, I'm going to be giving Cyber a 9 out of 10. Based on the bot's performance, it's honestly a really great bot, guys. And it does really good on other sites. Like, it's not just one site it's good on. It does really good on Shopify, Mesh, Foot Sites, and all those. Based on the price, guys, it is a little bit high. But honestly, for the bot you're getting, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion and how long the bot has been doing good for. It's been doing good for years now, so you're definitely not gonna be let down, I don't think. And last but not least, guys, coming in the number one spot, we have Kodai. Honestly, guys, I recently got Kodai about a month or two ago, and I've been so impressed with it. Like, just the bot you're getting for, obviously renewal copies are gonna be somewhere around five, fifty, six thousand $6,000, which is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But the bot you're getting, guys, is absolutely crazy. Like, the user interface is great. It's very user-friendly. Obviously, I know it's a lot of money for a user to invest. But it's a very, very good beginner bot also because the UI is very easy to use. All you do is put in proxies, put in your task, and you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, since the price is around $6,000, you're going to be getting a very good sneaker bot for that. It absolutely kills foot sites, and it's definitely not a bad Shopify bot also. But really, foot sites is where Kodai is the best. And it's probably where you're going to make your most money at. Not only that, it has pretty much every site you would need. It has foot sites, Supreme, Shopify. Yeezy Supply, unfortunately, it does not have mesh, which is kind of the only thing that it's missing, but I know they are adding it. Overall, guys, I love Kodai, and it's been a great bot to me. I've already made back at least $1,000 over the past month or two, at least. So if you guys do have the funds, I would highly, highly suggest looking into Kodai. Overall, I'm going to be giving it a 9.5 out of 10. I'm not going to be able to give it that 10 out of 10 just because of the price, but obviously, since the bot is doing so good right now, the price is going to be driven up. But based on the bot's performance, which is absolutely amazing, the price, unfortunately, that's why it's getting the 9.5 and how long the bot's been doing good for it. Kodai's been doing really good for like a year or two now, so I definitely suggest looking into it if you can. And it's definitely a very good sneaker bot and obviously going to be the best one I can think of. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy or hope you guys out in any way, please be sure to leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button for more content. Also, guys, if you have not checked out my Life of Resale series, please, please do so. I've been working very hard on it. We're on episode two right now, so I'll leave those linked down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Also guys, be sure to follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, all that good stuff is linked down in the description below. Like I said guys, this is 100% my opinion, so if you guys think I should change anything or you disagree with me in any way, please be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. That's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'm a limited cop, and I'm out.